हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो एज वी डिस्कस्ड टॉपिक ऑफ लाइफ प्रोसेस सो वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ लाइफ प्रोसेस दैट इज अ रिस्पिरेशन that is a respiration we know your exams are very close and uh, you all are <coughs> preparing very fast for your examination for that purpose i am taking one by one different topics of life process different topics of chemistry so in upcoming video you will see the your remaining topics which are necessary to be discussed considering your examination and in very precise and uh, in brief manner today we will discuss a, a very important topic respiration many times the uh, few question asked every time from this topics so in very short and very lucid manner we will discuss respiration now you see first of all we know what is the respiration so respiration is the process to in which energy is produced the process in which energy energy is produced process in which energy is produced is called respiration so respiration is a process to produce energy so just keep this in mind this in respiration energy is definitely produced and for this purpose how uh, energy is produced in what form of energy is produced uh, we can see the food combined with the oxygen food combined with the oxygen and form co2 plus h2o and it release energy so this is the process of respiration means food it is made in photosynthesis so that food see respiration is just opposite reaction of photosynthesis because in the photosynthesis you have seen co2 plus h2o it form what c6 h12 o6 and o2 is released in so then this food is glucose so food is glucose glucose combined with the oxygen and form h2o co2 and release energy so uh, respiration is just opposite to the photosynthesis in chemical manner in a in a one line if you want to show the process of respiration you can write the complete balanced reaction here like this c6 h12 o6 plus o2 form co2 plus h2o plus energy here 6 o2 you can write here 6 now this is the completely balanced reaction and this is uh, this by this reaction you can show the respiration in one line okay now respiration every cell where the respiration is done every cell of body every cell of body body perform respiration perform respiration 
each and every cell of body perform respiration means inside the cell the respiration is done now uh, in if you want to define the respiration you want to write the definition of respiration so you can simply make respiration by seeing this reaction with the process in which uh, oxygen is taken inside the body so as to oxidize the food this glucose is the nothing but food because plant form the food in form of glucose so glucose is food so ox the process in which oxygen is taken inside the body to oxidize the food to form uh, and form energy and co2 is released out, out of body so this is called the respiration right uh, now uh, every cell body perform the respiration uh, means the this process is uh, occur in each and every cell of body now you see the energy the energy this energy this energy is stored in form of ATP in what form in form of ATP so the energy released if we, if we body does not store it definitely it will waste right so def, uh, in cells during the respiration energy is stored in form of ATP I write here two term ATP and ADP you write the full form adenosine adenosine triphosphate and adenosine diphosphate Fate. Now exactly what happens when energy is reduced during respiration? It ADP, this ADP combined with PI, PI is nothing but inorganic phosphate. combined with PI and form ATP ok so ADP combined with PI by using this energy and form ATP in the same way so you must note, note down these full form or take the screenshot of this this is very important for examination and PI means inorganic phosphate so you must note down this now in same way ATP ATP whenever the cell require energy whenever when cell require energy Require energy, it form it ATP broken down into ADP and PI, and energy is released. Okay, one ATP molecule, one ATP molecule release thirty kilojoule. per mole 30 kilojoule per mole energy ok so you know joule is the joule is energy, uh, unit of energy so 30 kilojoule is released by 1 ATP molecule ok this is enough now we discuss next topic
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज नाउ ग्लाइकोलिसिस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ ग्लूकोज फॉर्म एनर्जी ओके सो देर आर टू और थ्री स्टेप्स इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी इन रेस्पिरेशन सो दीज दीज प्रोसेस दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन डिवाइडेड मेनली इन टू पार्ट एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट इज ग्लाइकोलिसिस एंड ग्लाइकोलिसिस हैपन इन साइटोप्लाज 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 ऑफ सेल ग्लाइकोलिसिस हैपन इन साइटोप्लाज राइट and glycolysis happen in cytoplasm like this one molecule of glucose convert into pyruvic acid pyruvic acid it is also known as pyru wait so don't get confused one glucose molecule one glucose molecule produce two pyruvic acid in the in process of glycolysis and here two atp molecules are produced two atp molecule produced during the process of glycolysis now different mode of uh, uh, respiration type of respiration now we discuss type of respiration types of respiration one is first is aerobic aerobic in presence of oxygen so you can write o2 right in presence of oxygen aerobic respiration how it happen in the cell as we know glycolysis glucose convert into pyruvic acid or pyruvate okay or you can write pyruvic acid okay this process is known as glycolysis in cytoplasm in cytoplasm in presence of oxygen in mitochondria in mitochondria this is the one cell organelles present in cell known as mitochondria so in the presence of o2 pyruvic acid enter inside the mitochondria there is the one very famous uh, process known as creep cycle what is this creep cycle happen in mitochondria and in this process glucose uh, this pyruvic acid produce co2 water and release 38 atp we the number of atp decide the amount of energy which is produced during the process of respiration so here respiration mainly divided in two part one is glycolysis second is krebs cycle krebs cycle happen in mitochondria and uh, glycolysis happen in Uh, cytoplasm right so this is the aerobic respiration you you should uh, remember only this much for your examination purpose this is more than sufficient for the class 10th and in class 11th what we learn we learn just detail of the pep cycle different steps of the pep cycle and ultimately it produce the 38 atp so means this this is very aerobic respiration is very 
uh, and a very good process to produce more amount of energy now second is anaerobic anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration this anaerobic respiration uh, we see in two condition in first condition east east and in some bacteria they undergo the process of anaerobic respiration it happen in absence of o2 in absence of o2 means oxygen this happen in absence of o2 like this in same way glucose convert into pyruvic acid two molecule of pyruvic acid one glucose produce two molecule of pyruvic acid and in absence of o2 absence of o2 yeast convert pyruvic acid into ethanol c2h5oh alcohol alcohol and only 2 atp produced right so alcohol produce plus co2 also produce alcohol produce in the in process of uh, anaerobic respiration done by yeast and some anaerobic bacteria in absence of o2 so this process also called fermentation this process also called fermentation and so now you are seeing fermentation is nothing but the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration is done by the yeast that is known as the fermentation also and it produce the alcohol in this process okay so this is the anaerobic respiration performed by the few organisms in nature and this is very important commercial uh, process also because you see wine whiskey vodka etc what uh, they all are the alcoholic product they have alcohol so the alcohol put for those purpose for that purpose is produced by process of fermentation okay so in every industry of beer wine beverage industry this process is done it is known as ferment station and very important yeast used in some beverage industry you can note down the name of that sacro mycis seri vc this is very important species of yeast which is used for this purpose now one more condition students you definitely take a screenshot of important point to remember it to memorize it or you see the video two or three times so definitely all the things will come in your mind and if you feel any doubt regarding the any process if you think any any word what you can't understand or any further knowledge you want to know you just comment on that and in my next video i will explain those confusions as well now if we go for the vigorous physical activity if we go for the vigorous physical activity means exercise like running that time our 
body blood pressure become high and our vg systems move very uh, fast and why our blood pressure become high during the vigorous exercise it is very hard exercise like the running why because uh, our body need more oxygen to produce more energy so as to fulfill the energy requirement of our exercise physical activity but at that time uh, in some part a uh, body uh, cannot uh, provide the sufficient amount of oxygen so there uh, is seen the lack of oxygen if during the vigorous exercise uh, the body cannot uh, supply sufficient amount of oxygen to different part of body so the uh, in the so there is so there is a lack of oxygen or you can say absence of oxygen so in our muscles in our muscles the uh, same process happen like glucose convert in to pyruvic acid pyruvic acid and in lack of oxygen lack of oxygen this pyruvic in muscles where in muscles it convert into lactic acid lactic acid pyruvic acid convert into lactic acid and uh, you must have experienced uh, during the any physical uh, hard physical work like running etc you feel uh, you must have experienced the pain of muscles during the running why why the pain occur during the running in our muscles due to the deposition of lactic acid its deposition deposition causes the pain means muscles pain causes muscles pain when you dip the uh, hot your uh, legs in hot water it uh, it maintain the our blood circulation then o2 comes and by mixing with the o2 lac lactic acid dissolved in co2 and h2o by this way uh, uh, we feel relief in our pain so pain is due to the is uh, deposition of lactic acid in muscles during the vigorous physical exercise so this also happen in our uh, muscles during the vigorous exercise so now this is enough now we will start the new new point of respiration we will discuss some mechanism of respiration in plant now we will discuss respiration in plants plants namely has three different part one is root second is stem third is leaf okay third is leaf now in root first of all we will learn respiration in root how root respire how root respire c respiration in root how small outgrowth of epidermis root cell small outgrowth of epidermis small outgrowth of epidermis
term is called root hair. There are soil particle. So between the soil particle, there are lot of amount of air. They are soil particle. Have you seen uh, before the um, cultivation of any crop, the uh, farmer um, plow the uh, plow their uh, field, their farm. Why? Just to maintain the uh, aeration inside the soil because in the because in hard soil air is not possible uh, in hard soil there is no, no possibility to retain air inside the soil but when we make the soil soft by plowing it so air is filled why so um, due to the air which is filled inside the soil it's used by root for their respiration so, so respiration occur through diffusion gases diffuse through the root hair O2 move inside and CO2 move outside in root so by diffusion process and by help of root hair roots are uh, roots respire ok respiration takes place in root by and gases exchange uh, suppose this is the O2 move here and CO2 move out of the root here. So this is uh, for root respiration in plants. Now, so now you know why the farmer plow mm, their field, their field or farm before crop cultivation. Uh, due to maintain, uh, maintenance of air inside the soil. So only soft soil can retain sufficient amount of air so that air uh, can uh, air can respire inside the uh, soil. If sometimes uh, uh, plants are kept uh, in, in water filled soil so that time uh, in water filled soil what happened this is this is called the water logging if you fill water for a longer period of, period of time in farm uh, then what happened water expel the whole o2 oxygen so due to the absence of oxygen root cannot respire and they start to form ethanol so um, ultimately roots decay and, and plant die now stem now stem how uh, respiration takes place in stem stems are of two types Herbaceous through stomata. In herbaceous plants or in herbaceous stem means green stem. Green stems called herbaceous. Green stems respire through stomata means O2 enter the stems. Uh, uh, and uh, CO2 come out of stem through stomata and in woody in woody plant like tree there are special opening is called lenticel by lenticel woody plants respire through that lenticel air move inside the plant and uh, reach to every cells of stems. Now we talk about leaf. How do leaf respire? Leaf also respire through stomata. But there is uh, a 
leaf are green in structure so there is a one more thing for exchange of gas in leaf now some more detail we will discuss here in daytime in daytime two process occur in plant photosynthesis photosynthesis and respiration see photosynthesis only in presence of light photosynthesis process start only in presence of light but respirations is going on in whole day and in day as well as in night so during the day time what happened in photosynthesis o2 is released o2 is released and respiration o2 is received o2 required so this amount o2 is uh, used by plant for their respiration like this c6h12o6 glucose plus o2 so this o2 comes for the respiration and it form co2 and h2o and energy okay as we have already discussed so some amount of o2 is used in respiration and this co2 this complete co2 is used by photosynthesis whole co2 whole co2 consumed by photosynthesis process which occur in day time so in day time o2 released by plant and so co2 is absorbed but in night but in but in night what happened CO2 uh, in night only respiration occur in plants no photosynthesis so in night time CO2 is released and O2 is taken inside so in night plant release co2 and in day plant release o2 so this is the difference in the process due to the photosynthesis in day time photosynthesis use complete co2 which is formed in day, in day time by in the process of respiration and in night no photosynthesis so this co2 completely released out of plants so in night nice plant in night plant uh, release co2 and in only day time plants release o2 okay so i think this is enough for today you revise it you mention the things which which were mentioned here they all are of importance for your examination purpose particularly for the class 10th student class 11th students also can uh, see uh, overview of respiration basics of respiration and uh, you must tell me if you have any doubt any confusion in any term if you want to know anything more regarding any any terminology what i used here and if you have any doubts you tell me definitely tell me in my upcoming video you will find the different 
more uh, <coughs> topics related to the life cycle process and in upcoming video we will start physics also so you subscribe the channel and uh, definitely you will get benefit and in upcoming video we will discuss some more process thank you good night